Hello everybody. Welcome to my Cisco CCNA training series. In this video, I am going to show you how network devices communicate outside the LAN. You see in this diagram, I have my PC that want to access the web server. You know, in order for my PC to talk to the web server, my PC will have to know the IP address and MAC address of the web server. So, let's assume that my PC already know the IP address of the web server. In order for my PC to get the MAC address of the web server, my PC will have to send an ARP message asking for the web server MAC address. You know that ARP is a broadcast message. So when this ARP message is sent, on the local area network, only router one will get it. And I will tell you that routers do not forward broadcast. So what is going to happen is instead of my PC sending an ARP asking for a web server MAC address, it will send an ARP message asking for the MAC address of its, def of its default gateway, which happened to be router 1. So when my PC is ready to send the packet to the web server, that packet will have a source IP address which is going to be the IP address of my PC, a destination IP address, which is going to be the web server, the web server IP address, a source MAC address, which is going to be the MAC address of my PC. But you may think that the destination MAC address will be the MAC address of the web server. And I say, no, don't think that way. The destination MAC address will be the MAC address of the router, router 1. Now, when router 1 get the packet, it will see the destination MAC address, which happen to be its own MAC address. But the router one will look at the source and destination IP address and realize that the packet is not for him. So the router will figure out where to send that packet based on its routing table. But before router one send the packet, he will have to change the source MAC address by putting its own MAC address as a source and the destination MAC address will be the MAC address of the next interface that will receive this packet which happen to be the uh, fast internet sla uh, 0 slash 1 of router 1. So just keep in mind that throughout this journey of the packet, the source and destination MAC address will keep changing from router to router, but the source and destination IP address never change.
but the source and destination IP address never change. So let me give you a similar example to this process. Let's say you are in New York City and you want to send a letter to a friend in Los Angeles. You know that you have to put your address as a source address and your friend's address as a destination address on that letter. So when you decide to put this letter in the mailbox, you know that that letter in order to get to your friend will transit from the from post office to post to post office until it gets to your friend. But you know you know the source and destination address that you put on the letter never change. Or if the address was to change the letter will not get to your friend. In that same way, if the IP address was to change, in the example I was in that process, I was showing you, the packet will not get to the proper destination. So let me finish by saying this for for those people for those people who are looking to get their Cisco CCNA that Cisco like to ask questions about this concept so you really need to watch this video many times if you don't understand this process the first time you see it or feel free to ask me any question you may have and I will be happy to assist you so I just want to thank you for watching this video and I will see you for the next one. Thank you.